Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can set up HDAs to work in Unreal without any engine by setting the materials, vertex colors to use as masks, light instancing and geometry instancing too. So we're gonna go through the full setup and show you how you can have these parameters exposed like loading static meshes, blueprint lights and all the material instance that you need for your materials. So yeah, let's get started. So we're going to start with this setup already. So with the geometry modeled and the generator working. It's not the a perfect generator as it creates some two random shapes, but we can work with it. So let's start by selecting everything and creating a subnet. And we're gonna call it light, uh, light, uh, light generator, light generator demo, and the first thing we're going to do is to edit parameter interface and select everything with Control A and make this invisible and we will start to drag our parameters so I have here a global seed that I want to expose so I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna apply I also have a um, secondary seed that I want to expose to as you can see, it's creating the, the secondary seed for the outer shape. Now it's all messed up. So let's say we like this one. And I'm gonna drag it and call it secondary seed. And what else do we need? So we also have, let me check mountain. And it's not this one, it's this one. Let me check. Yeah, it's this one. I want to expose the amplitudes, the element size, and the offset. So let's hit apply and create a folder. Let's let's set it to simple and change it to global. And drag the seeds in here. Let's create another one. So uh, let's change it to Nice the form, and I'm gonna drag them in here, change it to simple, and apply. So the next thing we're going to set up is the the geometry instancing. Since we have re repetitive objects, we don't want to export everything as single geometry. So I'm gonna go in here and instead of this copy to points, I'm gonna just output the points and we can set up the Unreal instance. So we can just use an attribute triangle and say string at unreal instance instance is equal to channel string 
and we're gonna name it pet to lamp. And now if you have already your geometry in Unreal, export it to Unreal, which you don't have, you can copy the reference path or the relative path and paste it in here. But we don't have it right now, so let's keep it empty. And now we want to to expose it, expose this path in our in our HDA. So I'm gonna drag this in here. That's why we created uh, the parameter. And let's create a new folder and set it to simple and call it Unreal. Unreal. Oops. And let's say pet to lamp. And now we want to set up, we want to, to say to Unreal that this is, or to Audini engine, that is supposed to be a static mesh. So what we can do is come down here under tags and add one. And first we want to create the input itself. So we're going to use Unreal ref and set it to one. And now we're going to use Unreal, Unreal Ref Class and set it to Static Mesh. Otherwise, we will have a list of blueprints, lights, and whatnot. So let's apply. And we also want uh, some points to instance the uh, a light, a point light, because the geometry is not going to be enough. So what we can do is to create another set of points. So let's drag this one and let's merge. And we're gonna say pet to light and delete this parameter, delete and create this one. And we also want to pick it a little bit so the light go, goes a bit out. So let's pick it by let's say 0.02 so I have the normals in here and we can pick it by a little bit and we might want to keep the normals so okay now let's drag this one in here so pet to light pet to Light and let's also add Unreal Unreal Ref one and in this case Unreal Ref class we want to set it to blueprint so we can instance a blueprint with a light. So let's apply and now we want to separate these outputs so let's create another one and this will be output one and let's remove it from here so in here we have this set of points for the light fixture fixtures and in here we have the geometry now for the materials let's see what can we do in here 
So Unreal Material. Let's see. We can set up materials for that, but let's just create one in here. So let's create an Unreal Material. And we're going to call it. We can actually place it in here. And we're going to call it. It's already set up by default, it's an attribute create, so uh, primitive, primitive class as a string. And we're gonna replace this by main structure mat and the rest we can leave default. And we already have a material, Unreal material color, which is the vertex normals. In this case, it's primitive, but Unreal will, will read it fine. So we have color and real material, normals and position. And right here we have unreal instance. So let's make sure we don't delete it. No, neither the P scale or the the N. So uh, we need to to output them to place the material as a parameter too. So where we have that in here. So let's take this string. Place it in here. And let's say main structure mat and now we want to create the tags unreal ref set to one and now unreal unreal ref class set to material instance since we're going to use not master materials but instances so let's apply and accept and i believe this will be good enough for our tests so let's merge it and we have the points and the structure and everything should be working. So I had a small issue when that to rebuild the parameters, but they look exactly the same. So one thing you need to do is to remove this lamp generator from from inside the HDA before you build it, otherwise you will have issues. So other than that, we have the same, maybe a different shape. So in this lamp generator, I'm going to export it as an FBX with the following settings Z app, convert to specified access system and convert units. We have covered this before in the other Unreal video that I have. And in order to use this static mesh input, in order to use the materials, you need to set up a primitive attribute and name it shop material pet and give it a default name then we can replace in unreal so shop material pets and select your meshes in here and then you can just export this so i'm gonna have this ready in unreal and now let's save the digital asset so let's call it like gen demo and, and 
let's uh, set create digital assets and I'm gonna say digital assets don't add author let's leave the version and let's not add type category and let's say it's in the HDA so let's create and now everything should work fine we have our parameters and we have our inputs and outputs and we can just apply and accept and all the changes that we make to these we're not gonna use edit parameter interface but actually type properties and you go to the parameters and change it in here so let's go to unreal and see if everything is working so here we are in unreal let me hide this one and let's import the new one so i'm going to hda import and i'm gonna go to uh, test projects and hda and which one it is so light gen demo i believe is this one yes so let's open Make sure you create a session in your Aldini engine and let's drag this one. It's building, cooking and it is working properly. Let me just copy it to a position in here. And as you can see, we have the vertex colors and we have the instances. Let's see if we have the parameters. So we have static meshes in here that we can load the lamp geo that is already working. We have the path to light, which is a blueprint that I already prepared, light blueprint. There you go. And now we have the material, only one this time for the main structure. Let me see if I can find it in here. And so should be on M. Uh, let me just check in here. Okay. is this one and as you can see we can only we can only select material instances in here and in here we can only select blueprints as we defined that and in here only static meshes this is a nice way to filter and the unreal ref equals to one it just means that we can have this nice input in here and then we define the class. So let's just test it here. So we can change the global seed. And we can change the amplitude of the noise to deform a bit more the shape and change the element size to 0.6 for example and we start to get some nice shapes so yeah guys that's basically what i wanted to share with you today feel free to grab the audini file on my patreon and hopefully you learned something new today thank you